There's one moment in Rift Apart that just really stood out from the rest, and I don't know, maybe you saw it coming. The scene I'm referring to is the one where Clank stumbles on Gary for the first time. Something in this one really blew me away, and before I say more, let me just play the scene for clearer understanding. I am the all-seeing cosmic prophet of interdimensional sector 2255 phase omega, but you can call me Gary. Here we are, Clank! Former Warbot, uh, teamed up with the Lombax, became a hero! Ooh, good for you! Ooh, ooh, friend of my father! I see, your father. So Gary describes himself as an all-seeing, cosmic prophet of interdimensional sector 2255, and he seems to hold what seems to look like a journal of some sort, one which seems to contain knowledge of the universe. Heck, if he describes himself as a prophet, might as well call it the Book of Prophecies. I mean, hey, Ratchet now apparently wields a keyblade. So, as I was saying, Gary later realizes Clank is a friend of his father. Alright, interesting. Honestly, at first, I didn't seem to connect the dots. Prophet, his father, friend of Clank, who is he referring to, right? Turns out, his father is the plumber. I believe you know him as the plumber. He is your father? Right as we enter actual gameplay, Gary explains to Clank that we refer to his father as the plumber. Yeah, I definitely have some questions, but we'll get to that part later. You know what? Let's at least get one question out of the way. How does Gary describe the plumber, aka his father? Clank at a point asks Gary about the book of his. Gary explains that the book holds most up-to-date collection of knowledge in the universe, as cataloged by my father. So what is in that book of yours? Oh, uh, the most up-to-date collection of knowledge in the universe, as cataloged by my father. After Gary mentions that we know his father as the plumber, Clank wonders what the plumber's been up to. Gary replies, taking his first vacation ever. So he left me in charge, and I'm trying my best, but it's a lot to live up to even when the universe isn't in danger. As we proceed through these levels, Gary asks Clank how he sees Ratchet and Rivet, if there's anything that's similar between the two. Clank explains how they're both quick to take action, unlike him feeling like he gets caught up in the details. Gary tries telling Clank that he just gotta be confident. And on top of that, he explains if there's one thing I've learned from my father, it's that acting like you know what you're doing can get you everywhere in life. That and carrying a plunger. This is the plumber. This one guy we met back in 2002. Look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. Turns out he's been an all-seeing prophet in the galaxy. Rather, in the universe. We have to realize Gary currently resides in Rivet's dimension. A dimension outside of Ratchet's. Gary did say he's from Interdimensional Sector 2255, or at least seemed to originate from that place. Same goes for his father, perhaps. Plumber, being the dad, resides or resided in Ratchet's dimension for an undisclosed period of time. One way or another, the plumber is capable of traveling between dimensions. Is it really that surprising, considering the fact that Gary holds onto a book that contains knowledge of the universe, which just so happens to have originated from his father, the plumber, who we've known since the start of the series. The title Prophet, as explained by Gary, is not something his father bestowed upon him. In fact, Prophet is something given to him by the monks on Savali over pointing stuff like, that's a Blargian phone book, that's a Kirchu tooth, that's a Tereklon love poem. So about this book, we briefly see it during our first meetup and then we have the credits. This is the only time we actually got to see Gary and his father together. If you recall, Gary stated that his father was taking his very first vacation ever. What is he doing now? Taking his first vacation ever. So he left me in charge, and I'm trying my best, but it's a lot to live up to even when the universe isn't in danger. <laughs> Whether or not this is part of his vacation, spending time with Gary, it's not known. But one thing I feel would make sense, as Gary stated during one of Clank's segments, 
his father left him in charge to gather knowledge about the universe, and seeing as how Gary is moving his hand around, I take it he's explaining to his father what he's gathered or discovered. Plus, you can notice the plumber nodding his head, making it seem like he's listening to what Gary has to say here. Sure, we could try and squint our eyes trying to decipher these locations. If anything, we recognize Savali, the Morts, and Zerkis, primarily. But the main thing to gather from this is that the plumber, this is what he does. He keeps an eye on the universe, and Gary seems to follow in his footsteps. Although Gary wasn't named Prophet by his father, the monks actually gave him that title. Both son and father seem to have the ability to predict the future. Or rather, have the ability to gaze into the future like a gazing eye. Gary's necklace always intrigued me. Alright, perhaps not gaze literally, but they at least have this sense of knowing what's coming. I'll give you two instances. One, if we go back to 2009's A Crack in Time. The plumber knew not to rewind time more than six minutes. Oh, and by the way, I wouldn't risk any more than six minutes. He didn't outright mention the great clock, but he was hinting at it. Turns out, those six minutes allowed Clank to prevent Ratchet's death. It's like the plumber knew what was coming and helped us save Ratchet. As for Gary, right before we hop on our ship with Kit, Gary not only is aware that they're both going on an adventure, but also knows we're headed to Kadaro Station. Ratchet wonders how he even knew that. Kit asks herself that all the time. Gary! I am, um... Going on an adventure? I know, how exciting! I wish you both good luck, and good luck on Kadaro Station. How did he know? I wonder that all the time. Who are we kidding, right? Gary happens to be the son of the plumber, the one who somehow always conveniently managed to stumble on us. Friend, I've been everywhere in this universe and beyond. Ratchet even at a point wondered if he'd have any of his cryptic advice, and hey, if anything, Plumber in Up Your Arsenal did mention his wife. After collecting all sewer crystals on Aquatos, That's the last of them. Now I can finally make my wife that sewer crystal necklace she's always wanted. So if we take that into account, actually meeting his son didn't feel too out of the left field. Although the 2016 reimagining is that, a reimagining of the 2002 game, I do feel there's some honorable mentions. He feels he's met us before. And let's not forget that famous line of his, see ya in the next reboot. Although the reimagining doesn't count as being part of the main timeline, these instances just further prove how the plumber is this sort of sentient being, always there and so cryptic as Ratchet put it in All for One. If we pull up Gary's actual character description, by the way, it states how he's the son of a powerful, omniscient father. We've reached a point where this game's universe acknowledges the plumber as someone who just happens to know everything. As for how he's gained such ability, well that remains as one of nature's mysteries. Gary's description also includes the word monk, in quotation marks, entailing that he's not someone who we quite comprehend yet. Sure, he's the son of the plumber, he has the ability of foreshadowing, but all this brings us to is the following question. What do they plan on doing with these characters moving forward? For so long, the plumber was this simple background character who always managed to just be there all the time, like a sort of comic relief character, and we simply got used to that. But now with Rift Apart and potential new games in the future, are the writers trying to slowly include the plumber in the story's actual narrative moving forward? As stated before, Gary's description outright deems the plumber as this omniscient figure. Not to mention they acknowledged what was said in Up Your Arsenal, how he had a wife, and now turns out he has a son, who just so happens to have the power of astral projection, if we bring up his character description again. Notice how at a point we stumble on him asleep and suddenly wakes up. Astral projection is this out-of-body experience. Your body remains asleep, but your mind or soul perceives the outside world differently. Could explain his appearance during both Clank and Kit segments. He's probably asleep all the time when this happens, meditating, and happens to stumble on this place. Gary's not too sure what this place is even, but at least he believes it's a space between dimensions. Seeing as how the credits seem to be hinting at more dimensional travel, Ratchet does seem to be looking at the dimensional map, could be hinting. 
at the Lombax dimension, who knows? What this potentially means, we could be seeing more of these types of spaces between dimensions, and that means we could be seeing more of Gary and maybe the plumber. See, that's the thing. For a very long time, we've suspected the plumber as the special all-seeing figure on top of his comical relief nature. And that was it until Rift Apart happened. We've reached a point where the devs themselves are self-aware of this character's nature and full-on name him omniscient, let's not forget. Sure, he wasn't physically present, they instead introduced us to his son, Gary. What I'm getting at here, would you be happy? I mean, how would you feel if they start including the plumber in the actual narrative of this series? Or do you prefer they leave the plumber be, a simple character simply giving us cryptic advice? And what about Gary? If anything, if this book of theirs truly holds knowledge of the universe, perhaps secrets even, it might fall in the wrong hands and kickstart all sorts of new challenges for our heroes. Just how do you picture the future of these two characters? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, perhaps you'd like to further support the channel by subscribing. Thank you for watching, and thank you to my patrons as always, you guys are awesome. You can call me VV, and until next time...